Okay, so before I start, okay, hear me out. Iron Man's got body armor. Captain America's got a indestructible shield. Batman's got pretty much body armor. Wonder Woman has a strapless top, very short skirt, and a lasso. What what does that say about gender? Anyway, Bash Fest. I know, bizarre introduction. Um, what do I think of Bash Fest? Absolutely enjoyed it. Absolutely loved it. Um, I only went for um, Saturday, which is as as I'm recording, which was yesterday, and I wanted to do it while it's fresh in my head. Really, what do I think? It, it was it was great fun. I had a single minded purpose, was which was just to film as much as I possibly could. However. Uh, what really impeded me was I had a dodgy knee and I was limping everywhere, very painful. So um, I pretty much got a chair, sat down and plopped myself the, at the end of the oval track for most of it. And when I did walk, anyway, my freaking sub story here. Um, I absolutely love seeing all the cars and seeing all the racing and all that kind of stuff. But for my personal highlight, had to be just talking to um, the enthusiasts about their cars and how they really are passionate about this hobby. More passion than I am, if I'm being honest. I, I am very much a um, peripheral, a satellite observer of the of the hobby. I mean, I have a car. Do you have a DBXL? Of course, but um, I'm not as hardcore as the majority of the people that go to uh, Bash Fest. But yeah, the enthusiasm was just tremendous. And um, one particular guy was showing me, because I really want to see a, um, a Vector 5, and, I, and this chap happened to be uh, nearby on the test and said hey do you want to look at one? Yeah sure I'll have a look at his um, Vector 5 and it was um, a piece of art it really was it, it was so impressive I mean the workmanship and the detailing was incredible and it looked as tough as now as if I'm being honest with you it looked really it really well designed um, also got my first look at um, a couple of Dragon Hammers well, more Dragon Hammers than, and, than Vectors but I've, I've, always, I've always coveted the Dragon Hammers I prefer that look and a couple of guys showed me um, their Dragon Hammers and even managed to speak to um, the lads at um, um, RC Max UK. They showed me their Dragon Hammers and various bits and pieces. And it does look quite robust and they do look, you know, again, made of really, really strong um, materials and it looks like it can take, take a few knocks. Um, what, other, what else? What else? Um, yeah, um, RC models were there. Nice to nice to chat to Mark and the rest of the gang. Even sat with them for a little bit, chatting to random, chat to what random things, what, you know, about drones and this, that, and the other, whatever. Um, and just kind of talking about the hobby um, in general. So certainly, just talking to the, to the people there was was in incredible. Oh, before I forget, uh, um, another highlight was um, Low C Lee. He was there. Hello, lo Mr. hello, sir. If you're listening to this, um, I met his dog Buster. Um, as for the rest of it, um, brilliant time. I am, uh, like I said, I was impeded by my 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 ability to really travel or walk um, any kind of distance. The most variety of variety of shots wasn't as much as I wanted it to be, and also um, to be fair, with um, a lot of the drivers, there was a lot of crashing, and I mean a lot, and I don't mean. Um, crashing in a kind of spectacular way, but just lots of bumps and I don't know. But but what I observed was pretty much everyone on the oval would go, you know, balls to the walls, throttle down. I'm not yielding at all. I'm just going to take this line and I'm going to gun through you no matter what. And so it was a little bit frustrating because I wanted to get some consistent shots of some of the cars, but it was just start, stop, start, stop, start, stop. And because of, I didn't know when it was actually going to happen, that kind of stuff, um, um, and I had to keep a camera on all the time. I, I took three batteries with me, and I whipped through them because I was, a lot of the time I was just um, resetting. Um, the, 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 the races were resetting, so it was just my camera was on standby for a lot of kind of working standby. Anyway, um, so I, wait, I churned through a lot of battery life just, you know, just on standby, waiting for the races to start. So next time I'll have to reevaluate some kind of portable battery charger jobby thing I don't know but on the whole um, I've got some good footage I've got some got to see some great cars got to meet some great people and um, there's going to be a bash fest in end of August and I am considering going to that one just an, just as an observer again and um, and hopefully my leg will be better and hopefully I might even do some more interviews um, anyway let's come up to six minutes uh, but yeah uh, have you did you go to bash fest what did you think of the 
of the event. Um, if I met you and spoke to you, please comment below. I'd love to say hello because I people come up to me. A lot of people came up to me, and I didn't know how they knew who I was. Maybe I was carrying a huge camera, but I don't know. Anyway, if you if you were there and you did meet me, say hello in the comments below. Right, that's it, guys. Like if you like, dislike if you dislike. Comment below. Please subscribe, Bro. and I'll see you guys in the next Bro. one.